The Public Relations Directorate of the Ghana Armed Forces invited GH1 News to cover the exercise Tigers Path 2017 and I was asked to be part of this assignment. Later that evening, uh, we had a light supper, then retired to bed. The whole exercise was supposed to start from Tuesday to Friday. Tuesday early morning around 5 a.m., uh, we were asked to wake up, get dressed and prepare for the day's task. Uh, we're supposed to go for the opening ceremony of the whole exercise. We left our barracks and headed to Esoso where the opening ceremony was supposed to be held. But before the ceremony began, uh, we went to pay homage to the chiefs of the town and also to seek their permission to continue with the exercise uh, Tiger's Path 2017. Follow! 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 Our first task was to capture Mujafin. Now he is a rebel leader who has been terrorizing people within communities in Achiase. That was my very first time coming close to hearing firing of gunshots and I was quite scared at the beginning where we had to enter the jungle, meander our way through to get to where Mujafin was hiding. The next day, we're supposed to walk 12 kilometers from the base where the troops had pitched camp to the Brim River. Now, 12 kilometers is like walking from Makola, that's Accra Central, to the Kotoka International Airport. It was quite a daunting task, meandering through the thick bush uh, with mud in, at some areas. I was quite scared that during meandering through the jungle will come across scorpions and other wild creatures. So at the Brim River, uh, the troops were supposed to cross the river. Now, mind you, all this exercise has been staged. So there, when uh, one of the platoon members was about to drown, she was assisted by the divers who were just stationed around to help with rescue operations. After crossing the Brim River, the platoon had to sleep in the jungle i couldn't bring myself to join them for that exercise because i was told that uh, there are some creatures that will be walking crawling around you when you sleep on the ground and i wasn't ready to go through that particular exercise the following day we're supposed to meet the platoon and continue with the other exercise planned for this particular tiger's path 2017. we met them at their patrol base then we're supposed to fight the enemy. On our way, we were actually ambushed. Uh, we had gunshots fired at us. Also, we oh, had some grenades being thrown at us. I was quite scared at that point because we least expected something like that on our way. And uh, we had to take cover and also re-strategize and enter the jungle to defeat the enemy who were lurking in there. During that particular exercise, some of our members were shot at by the rebels and we had to administer first aid and prepare them for an ambulance and subsequently for the helicopter to come and pick them to the hospital. So on Friday, that was the icing on the cake. Uh, the troops had to go through the final drills for the whole exercise, Tiger's Path 2017. I feel the best again once being the first female to win exercise Tiger's Path 2017. It hasn't been easy though, but I've made my possible best to become the uh, best female. How did you do it? I did it with all my strength and with the support of my team. We need a peaceful stable and a sustainable environment to develop as a country. We therefore owe it as a duty to preserve the peace and tranquility and avoid any tendency that will reverse the gains that we have made so far. The Ghana Armed Forces, I believe, is committed to playing its role professionally as mandated by the Constitution. We will always require support, especially in terms of logistics, you know, the sufficient motivation for our instructors and so on you know, accommodation structures, vehicles to, to work with, our equipment, you, you know, modern weapons, and so on. Uh, they are numerous. My respect for what the Ghana Armed Forces does on a daily basis has reached 100 notches higher, and I salute them for doing all they can to protect the security of the country. Now we really understand what pertains 
uh, in the military camps because the jungle work and all that and then we've, we've learned a lot and uh, I've also learned that endurance is the key whatever you set your mind to do you can really do it you shouldn't listen to anybody so I would say this very exercise has been a dream come true and I've really learned a lot it's been quite daunting very challenging I did 12 kilometers the other day and I almost collapsed <laughs> to be honest but you know thankfully I was up and running and I'm still on my feet now.